Hello and welcome to Overture by Black Shell Games. A 16-bit action roguelike game has a lot of RPG elements into it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We have four basic classes here to start off with, but it's also 24 subclasses as well. So as we can take a look right here, we can see there's a wizard, arsonists, and there's other classes we can unlock as well, like the warlock, invoker, and everything else. Now to unlock these characters, you need to collect gold within the game. Right now I have about 1,900, which is just shy of unlocking the invoker, which needs 2,000. So I'm gonna go ahead now and demonstrate some gameplay. I'll go ahead and select the warrior. There's also upgrades you can get by collecting gold, so you can make your character stronger as you go along. I've already upgraded the warrior to tier 4 here. So for my next upgrade, I'm going to need another 100 gold to make that happen. Now this game drew its inspiration from games like Diablo, The Legend of Zelda, things like that. Now it also reminds me of a game called Gauntlet back on the NES. It really has that feel to it. And of course, basic controls, WASD to move. To attack with a basic attack is the left mouse button. The right mouse button activates an AOE type attack, which does a fair amount of damage. And of course, at any point during the game, you can press C to see your stats, which go up and down depending upon what equipment you pick up. So, of course, how to run faster, stop attacking, run toward the mouse. White trail appears. Let's go ahead and get it started. Very catchy music to get you going. There's multiple floors to this, by the way. Me, I am not the greatest at it, so it, it is very fun, though. It is very addicting, to say the least. It's very time-consuming as well. I guess I'm myself getting addicted. There's an AoE attack. Now, oh, as you can see, I took a lot of damage on that one. But it's nothing too overcomplicated. Very 16-bit-ish, which I find... I, I like these types of, of games. Now, the trick with the warrior is, of course, trying to keep your distance while doing damage. You can get chests which unlock lots of things like potions and there's some equipment I need to pick up. Holy crap, getting swarmed. Of course, the little red bar on my character denotes health. There's a blue bar for mana. Of course, you pick up blue potions to restore mana, red potions for health. Doing a little dodging. Well, I failed with that end. Of course, these little boxes, you can release NPCs that will help you in battle. Holy crap. And each time you play this game, these levels actually change. There's never really back-to-back -back same maps you face. So things are switched up constantly. Now there's also like a mini boss on each map which you defeat to get to a real boss. And I have to say the real bosses are quite challenging. They picked up that shield. Let me go ahead and grab that gear as well. Oh, we got a shield for two defense which is not an upgrade. Okay, so we'll just skip over you and you. Six, yes. Grab that. Sorry, minion. I actually left my minion to dance around too much and killed him. Apologies for that. Let me go ahead and grab that. My minion may RIP. Is there anything else around here? You can destroy a lot of things and get some good stuff for it. These little suckers here are actually spikes. If you step on them, you will lose health. As you can see up at the top, there is an XP bar. You can actually gain levels by killing mobs and such, getting spell books for experience. Okay, that is a definite upgrade. I will pick that attack up. And that is already going to stack with the attack that I've gained by previously playing. I'm going to destroy these guys. Now there's a green arrow here to denote where the mini boss on the map is. We can go there now and fight him. Or we're going to actually get a little bit more gear. Level up some. And then go ahead and get him. Ah. Now all my minions are gone. And there should be more minions without the map. We just have to go ahead and find the boxes. Let's see. Okay, that's a downgrade. Not going to grab that. Alright, get out of here, you. We will go ahead. Oh, another level up. Excellent. So we'll press C to check out the stat screen. There's a level 3 warrior, tier 4, a tough warrior, has increased defense. A short and accurate slash to the face, of course. A vortex of magic changes, damages enemies. That is our right click AoE attack. Of course there's our attack stats, hit points, magic points, equipment, and our resources. As you can see we got 1900 gold and 13 skull stash. And I accidentally threw that, okay that was dumb. But anyway, I don't know why, but actually, this would be a good time to actually see you buying a new character. Let's go ahead and unlock the Warlock. There we go. And if I had a little bit more gold, 500 gold, I can actually go ahead and upgrade him. So let's go ahead and see how the Warlock runs. Same old controls, floor 1-1. One, one. As you can see, 
it's never the same, so we get a brand new map on this one. Oh, he casts fire. I like this. So we go from melee to having a ranged character. And no matter what you play, they're all fun in the end. Each one has their own different little things. All in all, there's 14 little classes. Oh, we got... We got a big mob here. Can we take him down? AoE. Oh, there we go. Got him at time. Alright, so Black Shell Games have actually made several games before this. Ah, no, no, no. Taking too much damage. Taking way too much damage. Okay. We need to do something about all this. Yeah, we are way too mob at the time. Give me the health. Give me all that good stuff. I'll take the defense. There we go. So Black Shell Games, this isn't their first time at the rodeo. They've actually made a few other games before this. So I would like to thank them, first of all, for this opportunity to play this game. I found it very addictive. I've actually played it for several hours now. So it's currently on the Steam Network, available for $3.99. That is a dirt cheap price for a game that is this addictive. So if you kind of dig this, or if you're into the gauntlet style overhead, action RPG-like, it's like an a XP scroll. No, don't do any more damage, at least to me. Anyway, if you're into that type, this is a really fun game. It's nothing complex, it's very simple and basic, but it's also very fun. As you can see, I'm demonstrating the ability to run faster. And as soon as we stop, the little trail will stop, okay. No, oh my god, they're everywhere, please. There, have a blast. There we go. I like that little AoE attack there, it helps out a lot. Each AoE for different classes depends. Some have really helpful AoE, others not so much. We get better attack. Oh, there we go. So much better. Now, there is actually a Pyromancer who I find really, really fun. Oh, yes. Yeah, grab all that loot. And as soon as we get out of this, I'll go show you the mini boss and hopefully the regular boss. These regular bosses, the big bosses, are no joke. Now, to progress to each floor, you have to defeat the regular bosses. And sometimes I find myself either hit or miss. It really depends on the type of boss and what kind of arena. You will be doing a lot of running against that boss. Be prepared for that. Down here, scorpions. Now, of course, we can't touch the green water. It does damage. It's the fire. It's the poison. And, okay. We have these little mini tough mobs here with the names. They have the little underscore of them, the little yellow underscore. It could take a good amount of damage, but at the same time, they do reward you. Okay, there's our mini boss right there. He's got his area attack out. Very annoying, to say the least, but it's not difficult to dodge if you're paying attention. Yeah, okay, there's his fire. Oh, God, he's got magic balls. Okay, let's just avoid that nonsense, please. There we go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He is not to be trifled with. It wouldn't be as bad, but, man, he is, like, right in that poison area. That is not cool. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little trickery here. Avoid the fire. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is not gonna end well, is it? Maybe, maybe. Okay, half damage. Now, they're not always like this. Sometimes they'll be in the middle of a room. It'll be easy to kill. This is a little bit more challenging right now, I have to say. Uh-oh, almost dead. And dead, of course. So this is Overture in a nutshell. There's a lot more to this game. I find it very addictive. And of course, we died level 4, floor 1-1. One, one. We've had 164 kills with 100, with 1,204 gold. And of course, that gold will car carry over. Actually, let me go back to mages real quick. Let's go to my favorite, the arsonist. Actually, the arsonist, not the pyromancer. I can actually upgrade him right now to 15 attack and do that. Like I said, there's 24 subclasses, so there's a lot here. You have to go ahead and discover them all. They're very, all very fun in their own regard with their own special abilities. Pyromancer, very similar, but he's got that little AoE ability, which I think is pretty cool. Going to destroy you. Oh, I'll take your upgrade, please. Now, to get the items that drop, you have to stand right on top of them and right-click. If they're a green stat on the ground, that means it's an upgrade, of course. Red, not so much. Let's go ahead and kill you real quick. Grab them potions. These little red exploding barrels, which you can actually use to clear some of the screen. Or at least some of the mobs that are close to you, so... There we go. Makes that so much easier. Get them potions. I don't want them potions disappearing just yet. Yes. 
coming into the map with an already buff makes things so much easier. So if you find yourself struggling at first, just keep at it. And as you upgrade your character, it does get easier as you go along. I've actually felt that out. I've actually gotten quite far with the Pyromancer. But each little floor, sub-level, whatever, gets really difficult. So I like the challenge to it. It's really challenging. There's actually a lot to this game. Like I said, it's only $3.99. So you're definitely going to get your values worth into it and more. Especially if you dig the whole 16-bit thing, which is really coming along right now. We can attack. Yes, I'll take that upgrade. All right, and can we waste these guys? Let's go ahead and waste them. Yes. There we go. Come on, go down. There we go. Every so often you get these little green skeleton guys here that'll help you kill things. They are very helpful. Now, I believe there's a necromancy who I can actually summon them as an area attack. So if you're into the necromancy thing, you can actually resurrect them yourself. Come on, go down. Come on, go down, you. There we go. Making them all drop now. Okay, that's a downgrade. Not so much into that. Okay, must have stepped on something there. But we got the NPC up, so that was good. Extra defense. Potions, yes. And we'll go ahead and give this mini boss another shot. There we go. So, I didn't know much of Black Shell games before this, but now they've certainly caught my interest with this type of game. It runs very perfectly, even on my old system, so... If you got a reset or new computer, this is definitely gonna be fun. Oh god. Oh god, this ain't gonna be fun right here because I am stuck in the middle of... This is like a bullet hell right here, holy shit. Okay, we need potions for this, holy... There's a potion, ask you shall receive. Whoa. Now this can get a bit swarmy in areas like this, you gotta be careful. Oh god, there's a potion, he did potion! Give me that potion! Oh god. So this one actually summons mobs. And that's gonna be tricky. Oh, it summons fire. So he's got his own little more difficult thing to it. Grab that ring. Oh god, should've ran faster. It really makes you think when you get stuck in these areas because you actually have to know where you're pointing. You have to be very careful. Having the cursor in the right area can actually save you, as you see. Oh, no, no, no. You will not have me today. Oh, shit. So much fire. Ah, oh, damn it. But yes, this is Overture. I hope you guys find it enjoying. Very cheap game. $3.99, the original equivalent. Check it out. I mean, what do you have to lose? It's the price of what? It's less than a McDonald's value meal. It's only a couple of bucks, so. Check it out. Have fun with it. It's Overture, and my name's been Graz. Thank you so much for checking out this wonderful indie game by Black Shell Games. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and if not, then just simply fake it. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you, and I will see you again next time.